Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see what Chaucer tells about the partner in his The Prologue to the Canterbury Tales. Come, let's go to the tales. With him, they rode a gentle partner. Here, him means a summoner. So, along with the summoner, there was also a very gentle partner. Of Ronchwell, his friend and his compare. And if we observe them, we'll find that this partner was not only the companion of the summoner, but also his friend. That straight was coming from the court of Rome. And he looked as though he came straight from the court of Rome. Full loud he song, come hither, love to me. And he was singing in a very loved voice the song, come hither, love to me. This summoner bought to him a stiff burthen. And the summoner was also giving him a good company and their song was in such good harmony. And uh, was never trumpet of so half so great a sound. And the way both of them were singing, even a trumpet cannot make half the sound which they were making. This partner had hair as yellow as wax. And the hair of this partner was yellow in color like wax. But smooth it hung as doth the strike of flex. And it was hanging very smoothly as though it was a clump of flax. Flax means you know that fiber. By ounces hang his locks that he had. Ounces means very small, small. So his locks, his hair was uh, hanging in small, small. It was very short and it was hanging on his uh, head. And therewith he his shoulders overspread. And he had also spread it over his shoulders. But thin it lay by colpins on and on. And it was very thin and it was hanging in locks on and on. But hood for jollity would he none. And he did not wear a hood. Hood is the covering which covers your head and the neck. And uh, he did not wear it because he felt that uh, coming without a hood was more attractive. For it was trussed up in his wallet. And his hood was trusted into his wallet. Him thought he rode all of the newest jet. Because he wanted to ride in the latest style. Jet here means style. Dischevel save his cap he rode all bare. Dischevel means he did not tie his hair. Save his cap means he did not even wear a cap. And he rode with a bare head. Such glaring eye had he as an hair. And his eyes were glaring like uh, the eyes of the hair. A vernacle had he sewed upon his cap. And in his cap he had uh, sewed. That is stitched uh, the vernacle. And his valet lay before him in his lap. And he had his valet in such a way that it was lying down in his lap. Bread full of pardon come from Rome all hoot. And he had in his valet full of pardons which had come from Rome. A voice he had as small as hath a goat. And his voice was very small like a goat. No beard had he. No never should have. He did not have any beard. And Chaucer says that I don't think he'll ever have a beard. As smooth it was as it were late he shaved. Because it was his face was so smooth as though only recently he had shaved. I trove he wear a gelding or a mare. And he says that I can swear and say that he would be a eunuch or a homosexual. But of his craft from Berwick into where, no was there such another partner. But for his craft, he was very good from Berwick to where you cannot find another partner like him. For in his mail, he had a pilvi bear. That is, uh, in his pouch, here mail means pouch. He had a pillowcase, which that he said was Our Lady Wheel. And to everyone, he said that it is Our Lady's Wheel. Our Lady, we know it is the mother of Lord uh, Christ. He said he had a gobbit of the sail that Saint Peter had what that he went upon the sea till Jesus Christ him hand up. And he said that he brought this Our Lady's wheel from the sail which was sold by Saint Peter which he sold before Jesus Christ would come before he could uh, Jesus Christ could come and take him and go. He had a cross of latoon full of stones and he also had a cross which was made of latoon. Latoon is uh, some, a metal like brass, which was covered with stones. Very Lots of stones were there. Uh, it was very decorative. And in a glass, he had pig's bone. And in a glass container, he had pig's bone. But with these relics, what that he found, a poor person dwelling upon land. And with all these relics, if he finds a poor person in any countryside, upon 
a day he got him more money than that the person got in months too that is in one day he can make more money than that poor person can make in two months up so in that way he can easily sell his relics and make so much money and thus with feigned flattery and jabs and all that with false flattery and tricks he knew how to flatter people and trick them he made the person and the people is apes he was able to make the person and the people fools but truly to tell at last he was in church a noble eclesiast but to tell the truth chaucer says that in the church he was a noble eclesiast well could he read a lesson or a story but at the best he sang an offertory and uh, because uh, he could uh, read any lesson or a story and above all he can sing a song of offertory for well he wished what that song was sung and when he singing a song he will know all the details about that song like who wrote the song when it was sung first and by whom it was sung all these details he will tell and then he will sing the song he most preach and well afford his tongue and he could preach very well and he could use his tongue to give very good speech to win silver as he full well could and because of his preaching and listening to speech people will give him lots of silver so he can win that mean earn silver so much therefore he sang the merrily and loud and because he knew all this whenever he is singing the song he'll sing it very merrily and also very loud this is what chaucer tells about the partner if you have anything more to add on to this please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe thank you